Uh, check this out. Straight out of the thrift store, yeah, yeah. looking for toys for more. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. What's up? It's your boy Burf, and man, it is a beautiful, beautiful Monday morning. So it's actually not even Monday morning. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. I got up early this morning. I was up early. I was up at like 5:30, but like I had to do a lot of work, and uh, now I'm heading to the grocery store. So it's actually like you know one o'clock, 1:15, something like that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You don't care what time it is. You don't care about what time it is. All you care about is whether or not I'm gonna find any goodness on these shelves. I'm about to head into Old Thrifty Pants here in the colony and see what kind of goodies they got. And uh, the shelves here have been really weak this past week. They've been really weak. So I'm hoping maybe they brought some stuff out uh, maybe early this morning. Cause I was just here last night, like yesterday afternoon and there was zilch, nada, nothing on the shelves. But hopefully they had a chance to bring some stuff out today. I don't know, we'll find out. We'll find out real quick, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. And as always, I'll say my little prayer. Thrift gods, be good to me today. Oh, check that out. I've got a DVD set there for $5.99 and it's World War II, The Complete History. I'm gonna pick that up. All right, let's see what we got here. What's this thing? Some sort of crazy bird. <laughs> and then we've got this uh, true, this, uh, what are they called? Rescue Heroes vehicle. That's been there for about a week. Oh, we got the Monster Scream Factory piano. It doesn't make any noise. It's kind of cool though. <laughs> it's fun. Let's get his eye going. Oh wow, check out this Batmobile. It's an Imagine Next thing. It's huge. It's very cool. And we got Mr. Incredible. Oh, look, someone took off the, the cannon off of this thing. I wonder if it's just laying on the shelf here somewhere. Aha. There it is. There we go. Now it's back to being a complete tank. I wonder how well this thing would clean up. It's got all this paint stuff on it. Probably just needs like a really good soak. It's pretty cool though. Uh, check this out. The Real McCoys. I used to watch this with my grandparents all the time when I was a kid. I think I'm gonna pick these up too. All right, sweet. Well, we picked up some DVD scores which I think are really cool. So we'll jump in the car real quick and take a look at them. All right, first up, like I said, we've got The Real McCoys and this was a TV show that my grandparents loved. It would actually come on really early in the mornings at like 4.30 in the morning or something like that. And my grandparents were really early morning risers. And it was like 4.30 in the morning, like on a Saturday. So when I would spend the night, I would get up with my grandparents early in the morning and we would watch this show so this is going to bring back some great nostalgic memories it's got 39 episodes complete season one and here we have the complete history of world war ii it is the 60th anniversary collector's edition and it was actually still sealed so i pulled it out and check out these discs let's see we'll open this up here check out how beautiful those discs look so freaking cool, man. So there's a there's a, a total of what did I see here? Um, seven, eight. Let's see. I I don't know. There was a there was a whole bunch of them. <laughs> there was a whole bunch, like 10, 10 discs or something like that. So I'm going to enjoy going through each one of these. Let's just put it this way. There's over 30, well, there's 30, not over 30, but there's 30 hours of content 
on these DVDs. So, all right, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go hit up the grocery store and then when we're swinging back home, I'm gonna stop at Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got on the shelves over there. Maybe they got some scores for us today. Some thrift store scores! Some thrift store finds. You know, I like to say those words because it helps the algorithm, helps YouTube know what my video is about. That way they push the content to people that are interested in that stuff. So anyway, let's head that way and keep our fingers crossed that we find something epic. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> and uh, I gotta be quick because I got some frozen goods here. I got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts and stuff like that. Frozen bone, boneless, skinless chicken breasts and I don't want it to be in this Texas heat for too long, so. Um, <laughs> the lady over there was uh, looking at me as I was being all weird. So, but anyway, let's head in here and see what kind of goodies they got on the shelves. Fingers crossed, as always, thrift gods. Be good to me today. All right, well, let's see if they got anything. At first glance, it looks like they got nothing as usual. Nothing as usual. Here's some VR glasses. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna get skunked today, guys. What's this down here? Street Force. Oh, we've got a battle plan. What says battle plan? Is it battle plane? <laughs> battle plan set. Plane super fine. Oh, this look kind of fun. I don't know, check out those World War II bombers. That's cool. Well, guys, I ain't seen anything else, so I guess we're going to call it a day. All right, well, that's the end of that thrifting adventure. We ended up with some DVD sets today. The Real McCoys and the 60th Anniversary Collector's Edition of World War II. 30 hours can't wait to watch that but hey if you're enjoying watching this content as much as i'm enjoying making it for you do me a favor smash the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're always first to be notified of the next episode also like and comment on this video let me know are you a history buff just right now nah, birth never really got into history or yeah man i love history if you are a history buff what era of history do you most like that are you most enthralled with for me, it's World War One and World War Two. Also, give me a follow on Instagram at 80s Toys Rock and Rock is spelled R O C. In the meantime, I'll catch you on the flip side.